us talking and there's no moderator, is it? That's right. Oh, it's already on? We're Cheers, already by the way. Really Cheers. Thank you for uh, coordinating <laughs> this. This is awesome. Thanks to... Except, I don't know how many people. At first, I, I, I said I want to talk with FIFA or, or NHL guys. Awesome, yeah. Because this is basically the games that I play the most. It's great. Because because otherwise, you, otherwise, I work. Well, all, play, it's all of us, right? Yeah. Like all of us. <laughs> no, but when I play action-adventure games, yeah. I try to, you know, I see the Matrix. Yeah. And so I have not as much fun yeah. as playing in HL or, or, or FIFA because this I know I will never make. The, Even though I try to analyze what you guys are doing. That's what I was going to say. So when you play sports games, it take you out of that kind of your, your workspace a little yes. bit? Plus, I don't think there's this... this and, and maybe I guess some people who play shooters, they have the same when you do like a, a headshot. But scoring a goal is the pure joy that you can have as a human being. <laughs> I hear you. Yeah. Right? Tell me more about uh, your love of sports games, where that came from. Like, oh, you I grew up know. playing sports games? Yeah. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Sports, I, like, I think one of the first video game I played was kind of like a weird uh, NL. It was only bars. And you, you, there was kind of like they tried to mimic soccer. Yeah. And then, then they, I remember in, uh, in college, Playing NHL '93. You're gonna date, date yourself now, so. I know, I know. I'm 41. I'll see, I, we're, I don't look 41. We're, we're the exact same. So I'm 40. I'm the same thing. I was right. playing '93. '93 on on PC. Okay. Where you could actually manage your team, because on the console version it was a lot more arcade. Yes. Yeah. That's right. '94 with I mean, great games. Yeah. And and it's. And we just love hockey in Montreal. It's it's our religion. It is religion. We, Keep we, tree, we sorry to interrupt. I think uh, the microphone fell off. Oh yeah, that's He's true. There we go. Gotcha. Okay. Famous. What's happening? Sorry. He is famous. Join our interview. Good seeing you. Hey Kevin, how are you? But, you know she's got a point though. I don't understand why the sports guys are not famous. <laughs> you ship game every year. You sell your copies. We do. And yeah. They're always at a quality standard. Yeah. You push forward behaviors, physics, yeah. presentation, yeah. Yeah. and you're kind of like, oh yeah, yeah, the sports guys. But we don't have we don't have three years to build hype, so we build it. Uh, maybe. And we spend, you know, the game comes out in September. Guys will play it hard for six months while we're building away, and then when they start to lose some of their engagement, we start talking about the next one. That's, yeah. that's the cycle. That, that so. that's your cycle. It's great. Like that's like. I love to live in your world for a day and just... Well, I'm getting into your world now. Are you? Because we want to go and do like game as a service slash right. episodic okay. yeah, slash yeah, yeah, we yeah. need to come up with stuff often. Yeah. So this this cycle of like, let's spend five years and then it's out there. Let's, let's go for a, a f like a full month of vacation is about to disappear in my life too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, for us, like we will start working on the next version of the game before like we're working on ideas for 17 right now we're still wrapping up 16 because expectations are yeah. through the roof every single year and literally every day that we're not working on the game we know the game's going to come out next september every day that we're not working the game on the game is a day lost it's a wow. it's part of a feature loss for the fans yeah. right so we got to go and go are, go are the teams at, at ea different do, do you share or there's competition between the different both. sports both. both i think yeah absolutely both i think right now um in the last three years or so i think Sports as a whole, yeah, sports as a whole is doing the best job they've ever done of sharing technology, okay. sharing ideas. But absolutely, it's healthy competition. We're, sport, we're sports guys. There's absolutely, there's healthy competition. Yeah. And I think it drives both One of us. One thing you can steal from FIFA is the quickness of saving. On FIFA, you, you know, in the menu, you press X and boom, it saves. Yes. In NHL, you have to go through, it's a bit further. Yeah. I'm just telling you this. Yeah. <laughs> to, uh, we to have the dial experience. In, oh, yeah. We're dial in, trying to dial in all, all of that stuff, yeah. And you always been working with, on the sports side of things or you've made something else? I've always worked on the sports side of things. So I, when I got in, I started, my first job was in, in university. And same thing, playing NHL 94, we were playing NBA. Uh, and a summer job came up because back then there wasn't a whole lot of sports guys making sports games, a lot uh -huh. of programmers um, and guys that knew their craft but didn't know the ins and outs, the authenticity of sports. So in the summer times, we get a summer job of just going in and playing the game, playing a video game for eight hours a day. Producer would come in and say, just please play it and give us feedback at the end of the day. What's real, what's not real. Sometimes they forget about us and we stay there next to three hours. Um, they come in the room, we give them the feedback, come back the next day and they try and update the build and they plug okay. the big cartridge in and play it again. And I was like, that was, that was my first experience making games. That was 
NBA Live 95, Coach K back then, just kind of okay. special thanks and credits. Not knowing that you know, five years later, I'll be giving up a basketball career to make sports games again. Okay. It's just full circle, it's crazy. And for me, it's awesome. It's every day, people are like, oh, you work long hours and this, and I go, I don't know if I, I don't really consider it work. I get it in my car every day, I drive to work, I work on a sports game with a talented team. Like, yeah. It's video games and sports exactly. every single day. Yeah, I'm with you. Me, I, I'm an adventurer, history, and, yeah. and, but I don't, I, I tell that to everyone. I don't have a job. Right. I have a craft, yeah. I have a passion, and I just I yeah. go to work, but eventually, because now it's been two years so that I don't have to go to work. Yeah, yeah. The work is at my place. Right. But in two weeks, we open up a new studio, and I will have to go, and I'm so looking forward to it. Absolutely, yeah. But it's five five minutes walk from where I live. Oh, beautiful. I made sure that my, my studio is really close, yeah. so we can bring the family. And, and yeah. But I don't have, I actually don't feel like I have a job. And that is, we're really, really lucky. There's not a lot of us You're on right. this planet. You're right. To, and there's to, a, you must talk to a lot of kids, too, that come through and want to uh -huh. meet you. And, yeah. And they're like, oh, I don't get in games. I might like games. I don't like games. And it's not about, like, at, when you're talking to kids that are 15, 16, 17, it's not about games because games are cool. It's about doing something that you're, you're going to have to work. Yeah. Eventually, yeah, you have you're to pay have some to bills work. eventually. <laughs> so you might as well enjoy what you're doing, yes. whether it's games or whatever your passion is, and me, have it not feel me like game work, right? Me, game picked me. I didn't, I never thought I would be making video games. I was in movies and literature. Yeah. And, you know, I was serious while having fun. The only game I played, I, I made a lot of improv yeah. theater, and that's a game. And improv in Quebec, it's funny, I kid you not. It's not like uh, whose line is it anyway. Right. It's another way of, it's, it's a guy in the 70s who invented a sport, a game yeah. of improv based on hockey. It's, so it's, it's focus and competition. Yeah, like but, it. but it's tough. Oh yeah. I'd... Because it's, it's live creativity. You're being like uh, really open in front of a public and they will tell you if it's good or not. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. that helps you really to let go of a lot of the mask when you create. And that was maybe a question for you. How much creativity is there when you have to duplicate That's reality? That's a great question. It's a great question. The, Thank you. It's not, a, it's, not a, it's, it's not an open world. We don't have to go in there to find the rules. The rules are defined for us. The playground is defined for us. So for us, it's about authenticity. But it's how do we, so if we replicated hockey to a T, it would not be a fun game. It wouldn't be fun. So we need to find the line between authenticity, where we're replicating the sport, replicating the players, replicating the motion, the behaviors, uh, but also taking some liberties to make it fun. So people, our, our fans always ask us, never, don't let the stick go through a player's legs. That's what we want, that's real hockey. In real hockey, a stick will never go through a player's legs. Physically impossible. Yeah. <laughs> We've tried that. And what do you expect? If the stick hits the legs, you expect the puck to go loose every single time. In our game, when we try that, the puck goes loose every single time. You can't move. We don't have the fidelity in our controls right now. In real life, I could go like this and get around you. Uh -huh. We don't have the fidelity in our controls uh -huh. right now at this point to handle all that do, or the AI. Do you think that eventually it will go there or it's like it's not even, let's not even try, like you try just to, do you think like in 10 years with technology and the, 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 the power of the machine? So it's interesting because your leg's there, my stick's over here. Do I want that to be user controlled and I'd have to go around your leg like I would like in real life? Or do we do it automatically for you and then I'm taking away control for you? And ultimately I'd like to give control to the players, yeah. give as much control, give them the tools to be super creative and do all that stuff, but is that too complex? And then us. But, I, but I'm sure like 15 years ago when it was all about buttons, yeah. right? It was a total different oh, yeah, beast. Yeah. And then, well, this, you became more precise. That's right, yeah. Do you think, uh, no, I don't think it's a good idea to, to do NHL VR. <laughs> Yes. Yes. Okay. I would go. So the the experience that fits best for that is goalie. Is playing as goalie. So yes. right now for 16, we're redoing all the the user controlled goalie stuff okay. for the EA Sports Hockey League. Um, so that's where I would want to start experimenting. Okay. See what we can do from a goalie because you're just, you're for the most part you're stationary. No, I, would I, love I use sorry. I, I use a lot of example because what you say like uh, don't try to mimic or to. Uh, because sometimes in, 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 in my world, engineers and whatnot are really uh, anal about detection and it's like, oh, it's got to be. And I use FIFA a lot, of, a lot of time as an example of like, look, you know, the ball doesn't actually touch the feet most of the time. Yeah. And people don't mind. Yeah. So it's okay if the feet is not perfect when yes. you, you know, jump from rooftop to rooftop. Yeah. Don't, 
And so, yeah, I really use a lot of, uh, uh, of sports analogy even while making my thing. It's right here. You know, when you look at like our sports game, um, control and responsiveness is so important to that interactive experience, the competitive yeah. experience that we have to take liberties. We can't let all the animations, the beautiful animations that we capture in mocap play out because it feels super sluggish. Even a, a pass animation, we put pass animations in there, we have nice follow through on the pass. Yeah. It looks beautiful, but as soon as that puck's gone, you want to be able to take that character and move with them. If he has to finish that animation, he's got to be able to branch out. Yeah. So uh, yeah. we got to take those liberties just to... It's funny because we really share the same core because my games are really about behaviors. Yes. And you, you use the same words. That's it, I, I love it, I love yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, it's like transition and make sure that... It is, it is a... a because yes, I, I I do stuff with narrative, but it's the it's the second to second gameplay that is the most important. If that's not fun, you know, who cares about your career? Yeah. yeah. If you don't have fun in the that's you right. know in the first period. That's right. <laughs> it's the same for me. So that's why I like, like so for me, if I could step out of sports, I would want to go to your world and experience a pre-production, how long that pre-production is, and how you go from vision to evolving that vision, to defining the, the, the rules of your world that you're creating, because you're creating this world that doesn't exist yeah. and defining how high people can jump and what, where the limits are and is there limits. But, and but see, we're, uh, we're kind of like stuck at the same place as you are now. Is that more and more the characters are doing like people in real life. You look at the Uncharted uh, yeah. thing from, from, from this week, it's like, Wow. Okay. That, that's his. Like you know, he goes in through the crowd. Oh, yeah. It's like Assassin's Creed plus plus already. Yeah. And it's like, oh, great job, guys. And but then there's less and less creativity because you're building an actor now. You're, that's right. You're, and, you're, you're and, pushing him into a defined world, right? Exactly. Yeah. And so there's no so such a, uh, so many variables left to do, and every game are doing it all. Yeah. I remember on Sands of Time, it was like, oh, we're going to run on walls. Yeah. Oh, wow, key feature. Let's sell the game on this plus yeah. the rewind. And now you play Titanfall, you're in mechs, you shoot, yeah. and you also run on walls. Yeah, yeah. And it's, I don't know where I'm going with that, but whatever. <laughs> I got a question. I got a question. That's the end of E3 with one beer talking. It's like, whoa, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, got a, I got a question for you. Okay, go ahead. How do you guys, how do you guys define innovation like what does innovation mean to you guys me right now it's it's the subject matter okay that's what my next game it's like I'm more into the science aspect right yeah and I'm doing like it's called ancestors the yeah. humankind odyssey so we'll go we start five five million years ago right in a jungle getting down the tree and let's let's do a game about that so right now my thing is about density in design you know speed uh, define uh, the density yeah uh, for example our our cities are done to be workable in at, at the 65 mil uh, miles per hour density right this is where you put your your, 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 your billboard at a certain heights because you got to see it at, yes. at that speed yeah. if you go in Europe where the the cities are a bit walkable everything uh, changed in, in perspective in games we've been doing density of gameplay according to a Lamborghini or the or the fastest way of, of traveling around so in, in the case of Assassin's Creed it was the horse right so you have to build a game world yeah done according to that speed so we're stuck of telling stories at that speed so that's why our heroes they jump you know the jump of, uh, of, of the prince or, or the of the uh, of Altair or Ezio is the world record it's eight meter or right. you know so it's like nobody can it's not eight meter it's in heights but nobody can actually jump like that yeah yeah or except one guy yeah uh, and so but so we cannot tell different type and tell is a big we cannot play different type of stories because we're stuck with that speed so my my innovation for the next 10 years yeah. is like let's reduce the speed right change the density and do the same amount of gameplay per second. Gotcha, yeah. And then we can tell a different type of story and put those characters in different situations. That's why right now we're working in a really, really dense jungle. Right. And it has to be fluid, just like uh, we had in, in, in previous generation, yeah. where you can make a jungle, but there will be a lot more space in between trees. And before also we were making a first a character and then a world 
that, that went with that character. This time I'm trying the other way around. I let my artist do, you do a, a world that looks real. And we'll make a character that can be a... Uh, so that was my next question for you. You go world first or character first? For the last 15 years, I've yeah. built the character first. In gray boxes and... Yeah, yeah. And now let's try the other way. Um, because otherwise, we'll be stuck in the same subject matters. Right. Right. Maybe I, I feel like if we want to be, and even though we're really close from the next, uh, or, or to be on top of the uh, of the food chain of entertainment, if we really want to cross and be global, we need to come with more uh, uh, human emotion, and that doesn't come only by going fast. Yeah. Like 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 we're doing here. Yeah. Yeah. We're not, it's not fast. <laughs> it's not fast. But it's, this is what people are doing most of the time. Right. And sometimes you can go fast also. But you see, that's why in an action adventure game in general, you put the character in an inside uh, environment or like an interior, he doesn't know how to behave. You're stuck and he, because he's like, no, I've been designed and done yeah. to go fast, to go up the hill because the world is really big. So me, I'm, I'm, I'm elsewhere. I'm trying to... Uh, to make everything smaller, which is weird at the same time. When it's all about bigger explosions. I was going to say, yeah, everything's all about bigger. And but I feel like, uh, first, because we're a small team, uh, yeah. how many people on your team? Uh, we fluctuate, so. But roughly? Yeah. Average? 30? 100? No, we get up to about 100 or so. Okay. There. Unless we're going to be 20. How do we make a, 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 a cool game with, uh, with 20 people is that a smaller one, but you make them often. Yeah, yeah. So this, this, this is our, 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 our philosophy. All those 20 guys on the same thing. Get them out quick. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what... Uh, and two more weeks, and it actually opens up. And this week while uh, I'm here, yeah. they're painting the wall. Oh, yeah? Some of my team members are painting the walls. That's, that's the beauty. That's great. Because you're in a big, and you, you, and, and you, you like uh, being in a, uh, in a big team, or I don't want you to, you know, go in tr PR trouble with no, that. No, no, I do, <laughs> I do, because it's about, so the, one of the great things about making hockey in Vancouver is everyone's passionate yeah. about hockey. And not only are they passionate about hockey, but they're also consumers of the product we're making, right? Yeah. So. We don't need to, as producers, we don't say, need to sit there and say, we want all these little details. They'll come to us with the details. I was watching the game last night and saw yeah. this, or I saw that, and I can get that in. Yeah. Like, give me an hour or two, I can get that in, no problem. Okay. That's how we make yeah. a relatively small team do really, really big things, right? Yeah. It's that passion. It's the same thing. It's what we yes. talked about before. It's the passion uh, that comes out. I think you take hockey and pick your spot that's not hockey crazy, and yeah. the product quality is automatically going to drop. And I, it just it just popped up. Uh, we want to to open the studio at uh, around September, uh, beginning of September. Yeah. And because of an HL <laughs> that comes out, and we want to make a <laughs> tournament. So you invite the people at the studio. We'll have fun and a beer, and there will be an NHL tournament. Awesome. Going on, <laughs> and we'll do it because in front of the studio there's a a, a, a sports bar. Yeah, yeah. And we want to make it there because our studio we cannot have like. It's, a, it's done for 25 people, so you cannot have a party of 150 people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So come visit the studio. We'll go down, go to Champs. That's Champs, the name of the okay, bar. Yeah. And we'll rent the, the, the probably the last floor where there's like 18 TVs and we'll play a NHL oh, tournament fantastic. with the new uh, with the new version that right. I played yesterday. Awesome. That I liked, like I said. That's and great. Did you like, yeah, you're in back into the second to second, making sure that that it works uh, uh, pretty well. Absolutely, it's so, so important that uh, with the A Sports Hockey League, it's really this year about making it fun to play, whether you're playing a goalie or a defenseman or a forward or what class you're using. So this year we have, um, we probably work closer with our fans this year than we've ever worked with our fans to really understand what they want. Because we didn't have the A Sports Hockey League last year. Okay. Um, and so we asked them what they wanted to see in that in the world. And these are our core fans, and they, you know this, they all think that their skills on the controller are better than the next guys. I'm the best player yeah. in the world. So they wanted that to be reflected in the A-Sports Hockey League. So we're working right now on just balancing the playing field. So it doesn't matter what class you're playing with, like a League of Legends, we want it to be balanced so that the sniper versus the defensive defenseman versus the offensive defense has pros and cons. 
Um, and then it's really about how well you are, how good you are on the sticks, and how good you coordinate with your teammates on the okay. ice. And, and which mode balance. is the most successful of all the modes that that that, that you do? Is uh, the fantasy uh, it's, team or you know what? So we've uh, we've done some research this year again just to understand where people are spending the time, and also to understand the motivations that people have when they play. And why do you, like why, why do you come over and play NHL? What what need are we fulfilling with our game when you play it? Yeah. Right. And when I, for me, it's the competitive piece. I when I play. I play to beat somebody, and I, I play online to beat people online. Some people it's the competition, some people it's the fantasy elements. I can take my Montreal Canadiens, have them win the Stanley Cup yeah. every single year, or I can yeah, relive my, yeah. my hockey career, right? Me, me, me it's, a, it's the Montreal Canadian, but that, I'm weird. I cannot play with the Montreal Canadian that is not the team that I, that I go watch. Really? I can, no, yeah. I have a hard time uh, making a trade. It's crazy. That, and if there's a trade, I need to make it right away. Right. I cannot have an old, no, he's not with my team anymore. I don't like him. I don't want him on my team. Yeah. And I'm trying to win the Stanley Club with the team that Marc Bergevin is, has put for Michel Terrier. If I don't have it, it's not the same. It breaks that, it breaks yeah. that level of authenticity. During, part, right? the, the, during the season. Yeah. yeah. Now, in between the, you know, in the, now, that the, the, yeah. now that Chicago is this new, yeah. they're so good. Oh yeah! Damn, they're good. They're they're solid. I don't solid. know Wait, which which team are you a fan of? Can can you be a fan of I'm a team? A, or? So <laughs> I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, it's, I'm, it's a an, not allowed. I'm a diehard Vancouver Canucks. Born okay. and raised, I got to see them win the cup. Okay. Hopefully one of these days. Um, but also just working with hockey players, they're all fantastic to work with as athletes. Uh, I know you're, they're, so they're I the best Canadians. Players. Yeah, I start to cheer for players now on okay. teams. I'm sorry for people who really love. Video games, but now we're back now into we're back hockey. Into this yeah. is the real thing. <laughs> this is two Canadian talking hockey. Even <laughs> it's, it's talking true. religion, yeah. <laughs> T talking religion. Was your E3 good for you at the uh, at the boot at uh, with NHL? It was really good. Yeah, he, uh, you know, for us, we we go hard all year. Uh, you have this vision at the start of the year. Yeah. You have this uh, feel for how you want people to experience the game, and you play it before you come to E3. Yeah. And you think it's the way that you imagined it, and the way you could be, you, you think you know how people are going to experience it when they get to E3, and then for people to come here and play it and give the feedback that is in line with your original vision is when you're like, yeah, awesome. So we got that. We got some of that uh, this week. It's been really, really good. People just talking about, like you said, just everything just being dialed in, uh -huh. the gameplay being tighter. We don't have big flashy back-of-the-box gameplay features it's about getting that core right getting that core yes. fundamental experience right and have fun the, getting the, the fun core, yeah complete control and fun. plus i guess you also finished and, and did all the modes that were gone Be all that stuff as a developer i understood why yeah. change of generation of content yeah. like of machines so i understand that you, you have to make yeah. or uh, you know hard choices to yeah. actually yeah. come up with a product at the end yeah so everything's there everybody will be happy Everything's there. Be happy. We got new experiences as well for people. So it's 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 good. So I'm looking forward for uh, for it as 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 always. For me, the beginning of September, it's my Christmas. Uh, I'll make sure know, as soon as the uh, the first copy I get, I'll make sure I send it. We'll get some contact with yeah. so I'll get I'll get it out to you. Okay, good, good, good. And then and then we can have this like we'll we'll we'll, we'll share the opening of the studio yeah. with the NHL tournament. That would be and awesome. It will be good. Great. <laughs> cool method, that does. It. <laughs> it was a good one. Yeah. That was good. Awesome, man. Thank you, Ken. Yeah, your world, like your world, really, really fascinates me. I would love to spend. But a it's year the same thing. World. That's why. But, that, but I said it in the interview. You don't receive all you guys, sports guys. They don't receive enough credit in this industry.